Hi guys, it, it is a fine winter night uh, here on, uh, what is it? It is a Tuesday night, February 13th, 2024, so I just want to, I, I need to get over to, uh, I'm going to turn my Costa Rica rant uh, over to uh, that former eco pussy over there at Collapse Chronicles who seems to be getting a little more balls recently. So I was going to come in here and rant about Costa Rica, uh, the environmental crime of the shithole country of Costa Rica. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to give that to that dude over there. But I, I, I just want to share this little story. Uh... I left here at 1 o'clock today just because I was bored. Just because I was bored, I went out driving around looking at some some real estate investments. I had no intention of buying looking at this lot and ended up, I hope that I did not buy one, did not buy two, but I hope that I, I, I'm somehow going to pull enough rabbits out of uh, out of my old hat to buy three uh, investment properties in uh, Inverness, Florida. Might come up a few dollars short, so if anybody, there's a chance, uh, a chance that if someone wants to throw in on this, uh, email me at Humpty Dumpty Tribe at gmail.com and we might have room for somebody else to come uh, join me. So I, I, I'm not even going to get in to the rant about trying to have a fucking conversation with somebody in Mexico. Okay, that, that, that fucking rant I don't have a, I, I, I don't even have time for it. What the fuck I have gone through today in the year 2024 trying to have a fucking conversation with a person about six miles outside of the United States. That whole fucking story you would accuse me of lying. But anyway, th th this is the story I wanted to share. So anyway, I have to start pulling fucking money uh, out of my ass, basically. I said, okay. I said, okay, Hambo, where do you, which one of these little rabbit holes have you stashed some money away in? And I remembered uh, four years ago when I sold that house, in Garfield, Texas, what I did was I I, I got nine one thousand dollar CDs. I didn't get one nine. I I, I got nine one thousand dollar CDs, and just kind of stuck them away for a rainy day. And the rainy day is here. Uh, so anyway, so you got, so the, 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 so this was Bank of America put in these fucking CDs knowing I wasn't going to get any money, but I thought I was going to cash them back out within, within the first year. Well, it's been four years. So these things have been cycling around and around and around these nine $1,000, uh, CDs four fucking years in Bank of America. So I go in today and ask the woman, you know, I, 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 she goes, well, you know, sir, that you're not earning any money off of those CDs. And I said, I realized that. I said, I never intended to let those fucking things go for four years. Uh, I got my mind uh, on other things. And I said, so anyway, I need to get my hands on that money. So I need to close out those nine one thousand dollars and so you know when you close out a CD early that you have a uh, if you don't let it reach the maturity date you, ha you you get a penalty for an early withdrawal penalty I want you guys you guys to guess what is my penalty 
for closing out all nine of those CDs. Tomorrow, I, I'm going to go to the bank, I'm going to shut out all nine of those CDs to get my hands on this cash. Uh, what, what do you think my penalty is? For all nine of them combined, all $9,000 combined, my guess, I figured, uh, I, I mean, I had no idea, a, a couple hundred dollars, my real estate agent, she figured uh, $500, this was going to cost me. If your answer was 63 cents, the the <laughs> the uh, the penalty with the interest I'm making off of these things seven cents penalty to to for an early withdrawal. So I have had nine thousand fucking dollars sitting there in the bank for four years. It I am paying. Bank of America, 63 cents for watching my money for four years, for watching that $9,000. I, I am paying them 63 cents tomorrow for watching my money. If, if, if uh, I had taken that $9,000 four years ago to the very street where we're buying these lots. Uh, if I had taken that $9,000 four years ago, instead of putting them in the Bank of America, if I had come to fucking Inverness, Florida, taken that goddamn $9,000 and put them on the very street that we're buying, I would have quadrupled my money. That $9,000 would be now $36,000. Uh, I, I, I am 100% convinced of this, that if I had invested $9,000 fucking dollars into the very street that, 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 that I'm sinking this $9,000 into, uh, that, that, uh, that, that property would be worth uh, $36,000 now instead of $9,000. So it's basically, I, I mean, it's almost the biggest big a pain is when I found out that that fucking 1200 uh, silver dollars was uh, w was ripped off. I have nobody but myself to blame. I'm a fucking real estate investor. I, I remember the woman from the IRS uh, that, that, I, that I used to work for the IRS. Uh, her advice to me, the day I sold that fucking house, the day I sold that fucking house, you take that money you fucking run and you invest it right back into real estate. You put the goddamn money immediately that you make from the sale of this house uh, into goddamn real estate. So I bought the place in, in New York cash and I bought the place in Florida, the you know, one that I've sold for cash. And, and I still had the $9,000 left over because I got such great deals uh, on New York and, and Inverness, Florida, that I never had to spend the $9,000 that I was planning to, to spend. So it's just been sitting there. And I, I, I guess better late than never. But, 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 but anyway, guys, uh, if you're fucking money is sitting there in, in a goddamn bank. Uh, I'm I, 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 I fucking believable. 63 cents. But anyway, now that I've got myself worked up in a tizzy, I'm going to go over there to Collapse Chronicles and we're going to let that former eco pussy uh, talk about the environmental crime of Costa Rica coming up in one minute. Bye guys.